Hi there, Eric from the Gradle team here. I want to show you a few of the improvements we've made to the Gradle daemon for 3.0. Now in case you're not familiar, the daemon is a background build server that we can use to make your builds faster. Here's an example. Here I have the Mokito project, which is a Java testing tool. The pane on the right is compiling Java with the daemon, and the pane on the left is compiling without the daemon. You can see how much faster the right was. About 6 seconds, or 35%. Now the beauty of the Gradle daemon is that it gets faster the more that you use it. So let's see the same thing uh, with a warm Gradle daemon. The build on the right takes about 5 seconds, and the one on the left quite a bit longer, which is 60% faster. Uh, which is why we felt it important to enable the daemon by default in 3.0. To do that, we made the daemon resource aware, so it's aware of system memory, its own JVM memory and garbage collector activity, and other daemons. We made the daemon much more robust, especially on Windows, so all you Windows users should use it. And we've introduced a few things to make better user experience. For example, we now have a Gradle status command. And what this will do is simply show you the running uh, daemon processes and whether they're idle or busy. So all you do is type Gradle dash dash status here and it'll show you the version, the process ID, and its status, whether it's busy or idle. More to come. But for now, you can try this out in Gradle 3.0 Milestone 2. Please do and give us some feedback at discuss.gradle.org. Thank you.